I've done lots of polar traveling, both in uh, Antarctica and in the Arctic. And my, my favorite thing about the Arctic is a spirit that you feel, that you don't necessarily feel in Antarctica, where there isn't a culture or a history. Up here, it's very different because there are people here that have lived here for a lot longer than anybody else in North America. And it's that, it's that spirit that you feel when you're traveling on these waters. Hi, welcome to Joe Haven. <laughs> Joe Haven's called Joe Haven because of Roald Amundsen's boat, which was called the Joe. When Roald Amundsen first was trying to sail through the Northwest Passage in the early 1900s, he spent two winters, he overwintered in Joe Haven twice, um, conducting research and learning from the Inuit about just how to stay alive in the Arctic. Nunavut is authentic Arctic. It's got a culture that is still thriving, where people learn Inuktitut as their very first language. It's the only place where you can get the real experience. They live with the wildlife, they live on the land, and, and we're very lucky to have it here in Canada. There is a lot of superstition and respect for hunting and fishing in the sense that you must have respect for what you're harvesting, what you're collecting, what you're taking from the land. If not, you're bound to come across some misfortune, even with all the use of snowmobiles or rifles or GPSs, you know, it still feel like that. They still need to listen to what nature is saying and, and uh, obey what it says. Since the creation of Nunavut, they, I can say, I think, they, they feel better because they, the Nunavut is a way for them to keep a part of their culture and they know where they are going.